Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing important details in expository text. Together, let's make learning English fun and easy. Expository texts are informative texts that explain something to the readers. They give facts and information about a specific topic. The author's purpose is to inform, describe, or explain his or her topic. Examples of expository texts are found in textbooks, newspapers, journals, biographies, encyclopedias, atlases, magazines, and other informative materials. In this lesson, you are expected to identify important details in expository text listened to. How do clouds form? Cloud formation starts with evaporation as the water on Earth is heated by the sun. The water vapor rises into the air. The tiny droplets of water group together and become clouds. If the air becomes cold enough, the cloud falls as rain. The paragraph above tells how clouds are formed. The details and process on how they are formed are presented. This kind of paragraph that gives information is known as an expository text. Let's do this. Write true if the statement about an expository text is correct and false if it is not. It presents information and facts. The answer is True. It aims to amuse or entertain the readers. The answer is false. It may present a process or steps in doing something. The answer is True. It is fictional in nature. The answer is false. It may compare and contrast two or more items or subjects. True. Expository text. Expository texts are fact-based texts. They are non-fiction texts that provide information or details about a particular topic or subject matter. There are five ways in presenting an expository text. These are description, sequence,
comparison and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution. Description presents characteristics, features, and examples to describe a subject or topic. Sequence presents items or events in numerical or chronological order. Comparison and contrast explains how two or more things are alike or different. Cause and effect explains the causes and the results. Problem and solution states a problem and lists solutions for it. Let's do this. Identify what element of expository text is used in each item. Select your answers from the choices below. In planting, you have to place first some soil in a pot, then put the flower seeds in it. This is a sequence. Desiree is, is smaller than Emma. This is a comparison and contrast. COVID-19 hit the country. All schools were closed. This is a cause and effect. Many Filipinos were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The government provided support funds to them. This is a problem and solution. The Philippines is a country in Southeast Asia. It is divided into three major island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. This is a description. Let's do this. Arrange the following in sequence or in order. Write one for the first, second for the second, and three for the last. How to plant flowers? First, in a pot, put some soil. Second, put some flower seeds. Third, water it every day and put it in a place where there is sunlight. Let's do this. Write A if the statements are alike or have the same ideas and D if they are different. Josh Let's go to the mall and buy some new clothes. Robbie, I was thinking of the same thing. Let's go. The answer is A or alike. The difference between Annie and Sophie is that Annie does not like to eat vegetables, but Sophie loves them. This is D or different. Both Daisy and Sonia want to go to the beach.
this is a or a like. Remember, expository texts are non-fiction or fact-based texts. They tell details or information about a particular topic. They are written to inform, describe, or explain. Some types of elements of expository text include description, sequence, comparison and contrast, cause and effect, and problem and solution. Thank you for watching. Till our next English lesson, have a nice day.